What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we've got a nice little quick unboxing for you. Something a little different in terms of unboxings. This isn't going to be a Slipknot mask or even a band-related mask at all. It's not going to be a horror-related mask. It's a mask, but it is its own thing for sure. So real quick before we jump on into that package, I did just want to let everyone everybody know. Obviously, we are crazy busy as we get further and further along into the Halloween season. It is well into September now, so we are definitely officially on our way to Halloween, and not just Halloween season, but Pale Fest in particular. The biggest thing that is going to happen to the hobby in a long, long time, and it will only get bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> October 8th, 2022, here at the House of Masks, palefest2022.com. Make sure to go over there and check it out and see what all the hype is about. Aside from Palefest, I've been cranking out content left and right, not only for this channel, but for my two other channels as well. The Good Life. Spell lasagna. Lasagna? Yeah. Lag. Lasagna. Yeah. You didn't spell, you just said the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got it, go. <laughs> That What are those called? What, what is but that that's called? that's how you spell it, though. Wait a second, but what, what is that letters? called? What, yeah, what is that called when you Syllables. break it up? Syllables. You don't even know. <laughs> yeah. I know I can't syllables. spell them, but sure as shit, know I know it's a syllable. You don't know what syllables <laughs> are. <Some>. Yeah. <laughs> how do you spell the? <laughs> <laughs> uh, holy shit, lady. Oh, you are allowed to drive on the road? <laughs> Unbelievable. She's got thick skin, though. God damn, she got a thick head, man. Fuck. <laughs> you Wag guys are not that much good. cooler than me. I don't know what you guys are Listen, saying yourself at AJ else. said spell lasagna, and you said right, black song. All AJ well, did was was spell it. Was I mean, I can't talk because I can't spell it, but I can sure as shit know. But at least like, you right, know well. the difference between saying the word slowly and spelling it. <laughs> I was going to spell it after that. You have to sound it out. Spell, spell lasagna. It. Four plus. <laughs> and the new Too Far podcast, which has been really, really fun and seems to be getting a really, really good response. Modify and race and whatnot that there's not products out there for that I'm working on making. So oh, for, boy. Are these put us to fucking sleep. That, like, um, like, if I needed something, uh, could I, if, if I come to you, or is that like, oh, it's, oh, well, you're not going to spend that kind of money for this. <laughs> Jeez, so, put, I mean, technically, I can make them for any car, oh, um, fuck but it's me. like... <laughs> Shut the fuck Let's up. get back to scrubbing toilets like someone with a real creative mind that can really make something. You know what I mean? Jesus. No, because all I said was, yep, I'm a, I said, oh, I'm a janitor. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Doug meets polyurethane bushings. Shakes ass we never go into detail. Fuck off. Let's I have get no on. I idea what this is I'm asking. I don't know. Google it. Shanks, we got time for this shit. Man, I'll tell you what. We had four <laughs> listeners when we started this. Three of them left and one of them killed themselves. But if they had made it to this point, they'd be laughing pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, man. Get on with it. <laughs> My face hurts. <laughs> I'm hey, interested, Doug, you can probably turn their mics down yeah. and we'll just finish the conversation. Yeah, why don't you guys talk later? Okay? <laughs> We've got a podcast to do where we need to talk. Yeah. It's been too long since you've got to talk, oh, man. For fuck's sake. No, I'm happy with not talking. Yeah, you're talking to a guy that just sits at his house alone, watches three different movies from the 90s over and over, <laughs> over and over and over and over. And every single day, he posts something on his Instagram story of him watching those three movies over Name and them. over. Name oh, here's them. my dog sleeping on the here's couch, and here's Dumb and Dumber. Now. Here's my dog sleeping, and here's a clip from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, Billy Madison. Oh, my gosh. Those this is new. I haven't seen that shit. since yesterday when you posted it. Yeah, so all this talking's probably got him a little worked <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying, though. I, I know. I know. I'm not even making a joke. It's funny. It's hilarious, but I'm not making a joke. I'm literally just saying what happens. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. I know. <laughs> If you guys would like to go check either of those things out, I will be dropping the links down below in the pinned comment and in the description as well. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on into more House of Masks goodness and more AJ good goodness. AJ goodness? Because what we've got in the package is directly related to the House of Masks and Pale Fest and all things AJ good. God, it feels dumb to talk about myself in third person. 
All right, today we've got a package from our good friend and moderator, Mrs. Daphne, who is currently selling some of their artwork to help fund their trip to Palefest. Guess they had some technical difficulties and they are really trying to hustle up now to get down here to Palefest because who wants to miss Palefest? So if you guys like what you're about to see or what you've seen in the past when I've mentioned Daphne's name, make sure to go hit her up and support her art. Help get Daphne to Palefest. Her links will be down below in the description as well. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop on into today's package, which I will tell you guys a little bit more about as we go. So I'm going to pull it out and show it to you first and then give you guys the story behind this mask. Little tiny box and it looks like there is a note on top, so we will read that first. All right, sup AJ, hope this piece made its way safe and sound. Thank you for trusting me with this one, definitely an honor. Stay healthy friend from Eero. Daphne's Instagram username is Eero Negative. So we've got a little clown guy there on the bottom and Daphne's username there on the bottom. So now we can go ahead and take a look at the mask itself, which does look like it showed up safe and sound. I will give you guys the first look. I always try to do that. That way you guys can really get a nice feel for things. I can kind of see it in the screen of the camera there. But essentially what this is, is one of my death masks that I sent off to Daphne to have her do one of her custom paint jobs on because she definitely has a very, very unique style. And I've seen her do a lot with skin tones in sort of drag queen style face paint. So I wanted a skin tone mask that I could wear and not have to put on a bunch of face paint on my neck and forehead and eyeballs. And that is exactly what Daphne gave us here. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and take my first look at it in person. Very, very nice. It's definitely far more realistic in person than it was in the photos. Nothing against Daphne's photos, it just had a very particular look. And now, seeing it in person, it is way, way creepy. Love the contouring around the jawline. I love the messiness of the lips. Makes my lips look very pronounced. So let's uh, slide this thing on my face and see how it looks. That's what she said. <clears throat> I feel like a creepy video game character with this thing on. I really can't wait to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look at it. Not in the upside down camera screen, but in my iPhone selfie camera. All right, definitely creepy when worn, especially with the braids. I can't wait to see this with my hair down and stringy and gross. This thing looks like a crazy sort of junky looking half dead, half alive version of myself and I absolutely love it. So huge shout out to Daphne for knocking this thing out for me. I definitely appreciate it. This will be the new casual mask for when I just don't quite feel like doing the entire get up with the face paint all over my neck my head, my eyeballs, you name it. I hate taking makeup off and I hate having to look like I have guy liner on for the next three days because no matter what you guys suggest, nothing works to get that stuff off of my eyelashes. I've tried mineral waters, I've tried makeup remover, I've tried makeup remover pads, I've tried literally everything that anybody has ever suggested and it doesn't work. I even went to a salon one day after a photo shoot and got a full facial giggity and that didn't work. They could not get this stuff off of my eyes. Maybe it's the face paint that I use. I really like Paradise face paint and it comes off of every other area of my body like my hands and fingers and stuff with just water but it won't come off of my eyes. Regardless that's that's a completely different rant that I just got off on but uh, yeah here we have it. The new skin tone AJ Good death mask. Can't wait to get this added to the collection. Can't wait to start wearing this for whatever I'm going to wear these for, press and whatnot, I don't know. And yeah, shout out to Daphne. If you guys want to go check out Daphne's work, she has a very cool, unique style that I definitely dig. Obviously, I trusted her with one of my death masks that I will be wearing. Like I said, I'll be dropping her information down below as well as all the links that I talked about at the beginning of the video. I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you guys so much. It always shines through, but it really shines through in the months of September and October. Uh when it just seems like I'm running a million miles an hour and I'm running myself ragged, you guys are always there to just really back up the fact that this is my job and this is my career and I couldn't imagine doing something else and I just absolutely love it. And every day, I promise, I wake up and I think, wow, this is my life and that's really thanks to you guys. So huge, huge thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. That definitely helps out around these parts. And maybe even leave a comment. I'm trying to think of how to make that easy for you. I've got it. What is your favorite AJ Good death mask look so far? So which of my death masks is your favorite? I'm not going to answer this just yet because I have some more surprises up my sleeve and I haven't even gotten to really see this one worn in photos or footage or anything. So, so I am just talking and talking and talking. Let's go ahead and end this video the same way that we end all of the rest of our unboxings and reviews with some nice up close shots of this piece to let you guys see all of the beautiful, beautiful detail. And that will be that for today's video. Thank you guys again for watching. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to death masks. And we'll see you guys in the next one.